will say good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm Eileen from Cucumber Clothing, and, and I'm Nancy, and we're here with Annabelle and uh, Emily, and uh, we're super excited to be talking about all things uh, the middle. Yeah, great to have you here. So, uh, first that is that what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> I just feel I'm feeling very greeting today. <laughs> She'll be cuddling you within 30 seconds. I know, I like this proximity. Okay, no, I know. We're very close together because of the camera. I know that's really normal, but actually it's slightly uncomfortable, but it's okay, we'll get over it. Um, yeah, so basically, just top, you know, give us a top tips about the middle. What is the middle? Why does it exist? Why should people watch it, listen to it, read it? You know, give us your give us your elevator pitch on the middle. Well, oh Christ, <laughs> um, the middle is founded out of friendship, really. Before we knew what we wanted to do, we knew we wanted to do it together, um, and we suddenly realised that everything that was meant to be directed at us. Um, seemed to have been put through a strange filter as though it had been invented by a sort of ad man in 1960. It was sort of busy working mum and that was very confusing and very generalised. Um, and so we just thought um, that we would remove that filter and put all the madness on the table. And um, we just sort of thought if we're not in it together, we're not in it at all. Right? Yeah. yeah, so we decided that we would talk to, ev to put everything through the middle like we talk to, to each other and talk, some on talk amongst ourselves. So everything that we write, everything that we've everything that we say obviously but comes from a conversation that we've had with each other or uh, at a party or at the school gates and a lot of it started when Annabelle... <laughs> yes because we go to a lot of parties these days. <laughs> We're never not at a party. I mean I just, I'm, I'm partying all the time. I am in no way going to bed at 9.30 every night. But this is actually a party. <laughs> the mission, the mission is rolling. Yes. It's yes. started yeah. Yeah, early today. I know I, I, I read a, a thing, I had a hard relate the other day to a meme that said um, does errands count as going out? And I was like, yes, it clearly <laughs> it does. Go to the post office is... I have no time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, so if somebody went to your website, they'd see something called listicles. What's listicles. A, what's a listicle? We want to know. Well, those are, well, they're, they're lists that are articles. In, that's the ah. dullest answer. Um, but what they are are things broken down in tiny little um, sound bites. And often they're quite dialogue-y. And they might be conversations I have with my bank account. Or 20 things that you know um, if you're a mid-alt, like nothing good happens at 4 a.m. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, we're absolutely okay. sure. Right, I'll take it, I'll, I'll take that. I think yeah. I, you might be the part of <laughs> yeah. Or it might be 40 things you've done before 8am, nice. or it might be 10 ways to swear the hard on. Yes. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Not sure when that will come in. For me, yeah, for <laughs> I am. exactly depending on where you are. But really, yeah. we um, exactly. really we're attached to. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear! It's early in the morning still. So, yeah. how did you two meet? The fact that you knew you wanted to work together. How did yeah. you know each other? We were at school together. Oh. Uh, but we didn't really know each other. Yeah, oh, Annabelle okay. was in the year above, so as oh, so uh, oh, she never talked, she, she, she literally yeah. gave zero fucks about and me, and like, I was like, oh. yeah. <laughs> so when oh. and I had been working uh, on a on a magazine for three months, and no one was speaking to me uh, because oh. there was a regime change. It was a really, a, really, it was a properly difficult environment. So you were both at the same magazine. Well, yes. Well. When I arrived, Emily just sort of um, no one know, had spoken to me for three. I months. mean, imagine oh. it was like she, she was oh. like Tom Hanks in Castaway. No, now that I love her, I love her. Because she likes the proximity. Oh, <laughs> so needy, bottomless pit of need. And uh, and Annabelle walked in, and I. It was like it was like the sun I know you, I know came you. out. It was just wonderful. Well, we just clung to each other like Aww. like a life raft. Really, it was a, it was a difficult working environment, and we were there for years. And also, it was just at that point in our sort of late twenties, early thirties. When life was starting to really throw some shit at us, yeah, people yeah. were dying. There was you know there was all yeah. sorts of stuff, and we were really struggling we to breathe. Yeah. To, yeah. So this is so the rock, so this is the foundation, and then um, and then like Annabelle said, we decided that um, that we wanted to do something together, and I think one of the crystallizing points. Ten years adult, later, by the way. Yes, okay. ten years right. later. You took your time. Yeah, you exactly. like to mull things. Yeah, around. you know, we had babies, yeah, yeah. we had yeah. Yeah. nervous breakdown. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you know, various addictions, all the kind of things people, you know, so the, all the usuals. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and then and then Annabelle went to a party in the summer. And I love telling this party. story. Yeah, she, she did. Real party. Just one. Yeah. 
And someone, actually, you probably tell this, but I love it when you tell the story. I can't remember what the story is. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. Okay, the story is you go to a party with Long these insanely glamorous oh, women. Who all yes, have yes, 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 yes. It okay. wasn't a party, it was okay, just sorry. sort of dinner. Okay, dinner. Like, around someone's kitchen table. A party. But anyway. And there were about five or six very glamorous women, much Including more successful you. than me. No, 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 no. Really quite sort of heart stopping women. Okay. And it was oh, during one of my summers of insomnia. Okay. And I was properly fucking mad. And am I allowed to swear? Yeah, yeah, yeah yes, fine. For it. Fucking it's mad. Yeah. And um, and someone said, uh, "How are you?" And I mistook that for a question. Oh, <laughs> oh. rather than the usual English, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, no, I, you know, I, 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 I have. And they're like, okay. <laughs> Well, no, they oh, weren't. That okay. was the revelation. Oh. As I said, I, I, I haven't slept in months. Oh. I'm incredibly anxious. I'm worried I'm going to die alone. I mean, the whole nine years. Oh. And they didn't go, oh, okay. They absolutely fell upon it and oh. said, um, oh, my God, I've been on these meds for a year. Oh, God, I love my husband. I don't want to have sex with him. Oh, God, I think I'm going to die on the streets. Oh. And it just kept coming. Wow. And then I realized <laughs> yeah, that... It was the glue that actually was binding us all together, was this yeah. anxiety. And then Emily and I thought, well, listen, you know, anxiety is yeah. never going to be fun, yeah. but it can be funny. Yeah. Yeah. If you look it in the eye, in the phony little face, yeah. it can be fucking funny. Yeah. So we just rolled with that. Right. And so everything that we did from then on, I mean, on the website, yes, but really we live in a newsletter and on Instagram and yeah, now right. the podcast yeah. and the book and yeah. the website's a sort of a, a little bit of a hub. Um, we realized that everything we were going to do was going to be either feeling you or funny or both. Yeah. Right. And the more and we put out there, the more we get back. So like, sure, we spend yeah. our own, t you know, for a start, people now know that we are, that we will answer, how are you? And that yes. we will ask, how are you? And, and then they tell and us. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and genuinely yeah. care. Yeah. But I think also, you know, people are like, how did you get in our head? How did you, in my how head? How do you yeah. know? How yeah. do you yeah. know? Because you've been there. Because we're there. Yeah, exactly. And the other thing yeah. that we did, quietly, but very consciously at the beginning, was we lovingly syringe any mention of children from everything that right. we do. Right, oh, interesting. Because yeah. there is... shouldn't define a woman, it's always been Well, also, there's a, there's a, there's a yeah, million a beautiful websites yeah. and yeah. people yes. and books and all sorts of things that yeah, yeah. aggregate around and that. They do it very people, well. People, it's about, about identity. identity. It's yeah. about identity. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we could sit here and if we had children, we could talk about the children yeah, yeah. for two hours and we really would leave with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I love my children, but there's more to me than my children. Yeah, and it's easy, but it's also lazy. so much. But you're yeah. right, and I think as well, um, I think the, the important thing is, is that if, as long as we get the baseline of what we're talking about identity, that people without children can identify, yes, and, and people with children can think, oh cool, they're talking yeah. about me because we woke up early, or this, yeah. this. Yeah, well, we didn't yeah. want to it leave out matter. a whole swathe of and women. That's why you're so resonant with so many women, because it's about them, and, and, and you've got to be able to laugh at life's downs as well, because that's how we get through things with mm. humour. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm radiating hostility. Yeah. So I'm getting closer. <laughs> no, you look okay. It's like the, you, you know, know, you know, you know when you're on a tube and it's that thing about the armrest. It's like oh, oh, I've yes. definitely got the armrest. No, well, we're, never seen. we're taking the cinema now where you can put your, you know, if you go to an every man, you can put your coffee or whatever, and it's like, no, I'm putting mine there. It's a and then the person next to you yeah. is like, totally. where am I putting oh, mine? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like bonquette, yeah. bonquette wars as well. Yes. It's like who gets the bonquette? Exactly, mansplaining. Yes, and all yeah. that stuff. Yes. But I'm a terrible spreader. I work in a co-working space or a couple of days a week, and I need to have three chairs, one each side, and the one I'm sitting on because I, I find yeah. the yeah. idea of yes. just being you know, like sitting in the library. Yeah, but you do carry your house on your back. That yeah, is exactly I mean, she carries well. a bag, yes. and I can't tell you. I, yeah. I haven't found the solution to that. And actually, I, I spy your, your yeah. backpack. My, my, my working life. The yeah. moment Emily puts her backpack on, and she has one, and she goes through stages, she immediately looks <laughs> like a New Zealand geography teacher. <laughs> and it happens immediately. And then she tries to do the accent. I'm, That's the I'm not sure about that. No, I do. I, no. Look, I look like I'm just about to go. It happens. The earrings. Come on. No, even so. I find really? with backpacks, so particularly last backpacks year when I wore a dress on the I know. Yeah. Yeah. And then also, it's sort of... But it's, it's got to be better than like this. It sort of drives against the back. It does yeah. make you look... Yeah, I know, because I have I don't know what the solution is. No, I don't know either. There's got to be a solution. Hello, cucumber ladies. Come on. We've got the clothes around. Well, I tell you what, one of the lists that we have on the medal is um, things I want, but things that may mean I'll never have sex again. And one of those <laughs> is one of those wheelie Take shopping on, trolleys. Yeah, no, we can keep our sex toys in the shopping yeah. trolley. Yeah, it's a special, <laughs> special compartment around the side or yeah. something with a plug-in. Yeah, am I not? I know you know you know that you've crossed a you've crossed the Rubicon when you look forward to getting ele the electric blanket on. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. one of those. <laughs> no. but I do not yet. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, 
the, the podcast. Tell us the tell podcast. Us, the podcast. So yeah. Last how, year, what made you launch that? Last year, we um, wrote a book, and yeah. when the book came out, it was called "I'm Absolutely Fine." Um, I have it. Yeah, I'm it. absolutely oh, fine. Yeah. A manual for imperfect women. I am absolutely fine. <laughs> how many times a day do you find yourself saying yeah, that? Yeah, no, absolutely. And how many absolutely. times a day do you mean that? <laughs> you never fine. mean it. So we thought, okay, well, we'll what is fine? F- yeah. A fucked up, um, insane, neurotic, and. Uh, I can't remember what the last one Well, the last one's a piece of shit as well. (laughs) And we thought we should should do something to publicise the book. So we thought we'd do a podcast. And the podcast really, really took off. Oh, okay. And we start every episode with I'm absolutely fine, Uh, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and there's know, always a but. Yeah. There's always a, yeah. there's yeah. always a but. Even though X, Y, or Z has happened, I'm still yeah. fine. Mm-hmm. And I think yeah. that women find that but quite shaming. So that's the other thing that we are trying to kind of ha- to, to sort of exercise our own shame at you know knowing that we're fine mm. yeah. broadly speaking, but knowing also that we're un- that we have things that undermine us or yeah, undermine our confidence yeah. or make us feel bad yeah. about ourselves at every little tiny point of the day. So the idea is is that of course you know we know we're absolutely fine. But, yes. yeah. And the grand scheme. Oh, so I think that we think because we've got roofs over our heads, yeah, exactly. and because we've you know we're, we're societally you know quite safe, we don't feel it's not all right. Yeah, to yeah. Complain exactly. about the small exactly. things. So then exactly. you get someone worse off, and you have your mother in your head saying, "Now starving children." Yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, And also, you know, as you get older, you become a bleeding heart. I mean, the yes. direct debits to all these ch- we're very aw- we're yes. very aware of our good exactly. fortune, yeah. but that doesn't mean you know our generation is cloaked in shame. Yes. So mm. we, fig- we figure that that shame can't really survive being spoken. It can't mm. exist in the light. Yeah, no, I think that's true. And I think what you said earlier on really resonated, which is that actually one of the things that women do have in common is this anxiety and mm. this, this feeling that things aren't going completely right all the time, but somehow they have to hide it. Yeah. And to be able to speak about it with other people and share that anxiety is really meaningful. And that's why we women try, I think, tend to have really great friendships. Every yes. woman thinks that she's the yeah. only woman yeah. who yeah. stands in front of her wardrobe in the morning, sort of almost in tears, <laughs> praying for something so relevant and flattering yeah, to leap out. Yeah. 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 And yeah. like, oh, we're just saying, you know, you're not alone. Yes. Even in those tiny crossroads throughout the day. But do you think social media has made that worse as well? Because everything now, you know, everyone only posts obviously the good points in their day when they're looking fabulous or whatever. So. Yeah, I think it's... I think we're a bit wise to that. I think that's a little bit easy. I think it might have made it a bit yes, worse. I think but that makes it worse for younger people. For younger people. For younger, younger people, people. Yeah. experience. Yeah. But yeah. we are yeah. not Yeah, but I think you definitely, you definitely, you know, are scrolling and you think, you get a little yes. pang of yeah. like, oh God, she looks great. How yeah. she managed to shove her massive jumper into her tiny skirt <laughs> and still and look like a belt on yes. top. Yeah. I yeah. mean, how does that? One how of is that of the adult universe. <laughs> and uh, and and you and you do have a pang, but I think at the same time, you know, I I I also quite enjoy it because I quite like seeing women celebrating the wins. Yeah. yeah so sometimes it might just be because you've managed to shove yeah. the jumper in yeah. and it looks okay. But I think that. I try and look at it that way. I'm like, yes, I like your win, whether it's your, you know, your perfect countertop or, you know, or, or, or whatever, or whatever I mean, it might be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I think, and to look at it, to flip it that way rather than to yeah. say, okay, this one is deliberately I, gaslighting. I, I, I worry, I don't worry yeah. about how Instagram's going to make me feel because I, I feel that I can deal with that and also yeah. I'm very happy to cull and have done. Okay. But but what, what worries me more is when people start to live for Instagram. Yeah. yeah. So Absolutely. you haven't, yeah. it hasn't happened yes. unless it's documented. Yeah. Yes. And I I find that generally, um, I think Emma and I have discussed this, the days when I have the most joy and the least worry are the days when I take the least pictures. Yeah, Chris oh, and I went okay. to um, Secret Cinema, uh, oh, sorry, my husband was to see well, Stranger Things. Right, oh, is it good? It was so magnificent, oh, but you have to lock scared. your phone away. Right. So <gasps> you, you, exactly, and you think this is surely, yeah. this is like the perfect opportunity to document myself dressed as yes. an 80s kind of hip hop yeah. star in front of, you know, a, 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 an actor playing Winona Ryder's character yeah. in Stranger Things. This is what Instagram is made for, but actually, the whole point, yeah. is, to the whole point it, is to experience yes, it, yeah. and you genuinely do, because your yeah. phone is under, is yeah. Is, yeah, is, is under like lock and key, yeah. and that is what, and we had the best time, and you're there for kind of five hours yeah. having a brilliant. We went to the moment. Yeah, it's, yeah, it it was sensational. So they're doing, you know, they're so doing so dirty, dirty, dirty dancing. Oh, well, they're, they're, yeah, right, so I guess so we're definitely gonna yeah. go. But, but I think, um, but I think, yeah, and I think because we all live through a lens now, don't we? I mean, everything is documented, videoed, pictured, rather than just living, just in you know, looking around. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah, and I yeah. take pictures I mean, of my children, and they go, "Can we have a look?" And then yeah, now yeah, I've yeah. like I've tried to stop yeah. because yeah. I, you know, you don't yeah, want yeah. to get that them into that yeah. habit yeah. of going, "Oh, I don't like that one. I don't like that one." <laughs> <laughs> That's what you yeah. look like. Yeah. <laughs> so, if not the mid alt, 
Um, what would the minnow be if it was uh, an animal or? Um... Yeah. Well, it would be it would be it would be a, a sort of very uncomfortable, self-loathing hybrid between something very fast and very slow. <laughs> So I know we were talking earlier. Was saying, so a panic-stricken, if a panic-stricken sloth had a child with a sort of, you know, energy-compromised cheetah, <laughs> exactly, okay. that would be it. So we're either going so fast, hit a wall, lie down for a bit. Go so fast, hit a wall, lie down for a bit. Yes. And what, like what would we yeah. be doing okay. if we weren't Actually, doing the adult? Yeah. We'd be sleeping. Sleeping <laughs> <laughs> a hell of a lot. Do you not spend? Do you not spend a half your day just longing for bed? Yes. Yeah. I do. It's I my favourite. Yeah. 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 Just like really, really hot. Not then, very yeah. long. Five minutes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. hot. Do you put anything in it? Yes. Yeah. 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 If I yeah, sometimes Epsom salt, sometimes magnesium flakes, and then if I sometimes have some nice oil, I'll do that. But just it's the heat of it and mm. just you feel like your whole body's relaxing mm. it's the end of the day I, the one thing so I don't have bed. any trouble with is sleeping yeah. do you not? no I love sleep no I love sleep too I just no, I, I can't, can't no. stay asleep I can fall asleep magnificently no, no. but oh, I cannot yeah, no, I stay can't. I cannot stay asleep no not can I oh no really oh, no, I mm. can I think yeah. actually you two are quite unusual we must be well because all we hear about from our audience really? is no one slept since 2010, yeah. Really? Gosh, no, I mean, I have the odd night when I can't sleep, but generally yeah. I'm a good Doesn't sleeper. Doesn't care. That's okay. pretty much. <laughs> let's just not, let's stop this conversation. Other than that. <laughs> let's not annoy them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you won't like us when we're angry. Um, and your book. Yes. So that launch, that was about a year ago? Yes. And yes, I'm called, called I'm Absolutely Fine. And it's a mixture of listicles. Yeah. And, yeah, and essays, really. Um, where we just dig a bit deeper and we suppress the bruise a bit. Yeah. And it's very much about the light and the shade. Yes. So it's about funny so, stuff but really serious stuff as well. Laugh. And that happens when yeah. we do events with lots of when we do that often. We do sort of interactive games which are funny but also, you know, they're about pain. Yes. Um, and also, you know, if you slip on a banana skin, it doesn't hurt. It's not funny. <laughs> Comedy yeah, serious. No, exactly. Also, Absolutely. we find that... And it's a good dinner party story maybe well, a, a little while later. You know, you can have a laugh at, oh, God, this happened to me. You exactly. Know? And I think as well, we, we also feel... I think that at this point in our lives, you feel more comfortable with the people who are happy yes. with the texture. Definitely. Don't you think? Yeah, and more comfortable definitely. with your shortcomings. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you can say, okay, this is where I'm failing and yeah. this yeah. is where yeah. I'm... I think you, you start know. to understand where you end yes. and something else begins. Like, yes. I know that I end this side of a spreadsheet. <laughs> you know, that sort of makes me yeah. feel, you know, insane. I'm That's just practicing. That's what Nancy used to think, but now she's all over it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you so no, hang on, let she me rephrase that. I do it. Oh, my God, but I'm not really wanting to. <laughs> do you close your eyes and hope the best? <laughs> just press a few numbers. Not in front of Eileen. No, okay, fine. <laughs> do you, Excel, it's so stressful, copying. Anyway, I'm, I've... Uh, I've become embroiled in the world of Google Docs, oh. and I find that they're the, quite good. Though my brother introduced me to them. Yeah, they are quite yeah. good, but I still, I still like do all my work outside Google Docs because I don't like oh, the yeah. idea. Well, and then you trust trust it. it. And then I transfer yeah. it. Perfect. That's yeah. probably like, very sensible yeah. because they are watching. Yes. Also, oh, my yeah. God, the yeah. fury yeah. when you lose yeah. something. Oh, oh yeah. the fury yeah. when you yeah. well, The thing I hate most is having to do the thinking twice. Yeah. It's boring enough doing the thinking once. Exactly. If someone goes, oh, God, I haven't saved it, I'm like, well, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> She's a nice one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, and and you're dressed like Jennifer Lopez, good Just like a plumber. plumber again. Oh. No, you're a bad no, cop. you look amazing. Yeah, amazing. So it's like, you just pull that thing yeah, down. Exactly. Easy access. access. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Talking of clothing, I should just say that I am wearing our Drake Not Tea in uh, Slate. And, and I'm wearing my favourite shell top PJ. It's like a man's PJ top. It's so beautiful. And we're out during the day. And Is I that cotton? Tie no, it's, it's not cotton, actually, Annabelle. It's the, whole the point famous. Of our, it's the famous cucumber fabric. Oh, yeah, what is the famous cucumber cool. fabric? It keeps you cool. No, that I know, but I don't know what so it's, it's made cotton, of. So, because cotton. Or is it like Coca Cola? Say, and you can't say the secret. No, <laughs> you can't say the secret. Basically, cotton. The thing with cotton is, it's great, but it's very environmentally damaging, which you know because it sucks up loads of water, mm -hmm. loads of pesticides. And even organic cotton is a challenge because it has much lower yield. So yeah, actually, they need more water, more pesticides. Anyway, that aside, um, the thing with cotton is it, if we had a bit of cotton, well, in fact, your tablecloth, your lovely tablecloth is if cotton. If I spilled my water on here. Yes, I, I, got this, this is, this is, I got this in some vintage shopping. Exactly. I if I put it into my nice teacup full of hot water, it would just soak it all up mm. and in an instant it would be very, very wet and it would stay wet for ages because mm. it's quite cool today. If I put this in, which I'm not going to actually, because <laughs> I want to stay dry, um, it would repel it. So it would just bead yeah. off it probably, unless it was in there for ages and ages and ages. So it basically keeps you cool because any time you get hot, it just 
takes moisture away from you. It um, is anti-crash, so you can like roll. I had it rolled up in my bag. I should get out, put it on. It's a, it, yeah. yeah I, and we're actually wearing different, different materials, but they well, they work in similar yeah. ways. This has got a lot of Just feel. I know well, you have. Claustrophobia is just yeah, soft, doesn't it? Soft. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it is really soft. It's nice I to wear. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're just all about technical fabrics yeah. that actually feel really luxurious, that feel really nice to wear, that are super easy yeah. to take. Because I'm finding, so I'm 45, and I'm finding I'm waking up in the middle of the night literally drenched. I Particularly, by the way, when there is a full moon. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. The last couple of full moons, oh, I've gosh. gone absolutely you know, even more insane. And we had, and both of us had simultaneous night sweats for three nights and then yeah. up to the last full moon. Sounds a bit witchy, but fuck it if it's happening. Okay, what you need are a little strappy... Oh, you need... I don't know. I don't know what you wear to bed. I don't know if you want to say it on camera. <laughs> no, um, possibly nothing. Possibly no, I wear pyjamas. wear pyjamas. Yeah. You need to wear either our pyjamas or just our little strappy top yeah. or our t-shirt. Yeah. And then honestly, it's you will definitely nothing. sleep yeah. better. Really? Okay. Yeah. You will definitely sleep because better. Because I wear... Because I, I, I wear cotton pyjamas. Yeah, I wear cotton pyjamas. Yeah, so we'll just... Okay. If you get a bit damp in the night, you'll yeah. just stay wet. And of course, it's going to wake you up. Yeah. Of course, you're gonna, of course you can feel uncomfortable. But if you wear our stuff, if you're wearing this, you know, within a few minutes, you'd be completely cozy and mm. lovely and warm and dry mm. again. And, and back fine. to sleep. There you are. Sleep. There you go. Go. Maybe that's why you guys sleep and we don't. Exactly. There, you go. there we go. Maybe. There's a reason. Yeah. Um, so just in terms of all the things we mentioned, we're going to put everything at the bottom of the video. So you don't need to look anything up. We'll be exactly. linked to everything. There'll be like little links running along. And did you want to do some beauty stuff? I was going to ask you, what is your, can't live without? But that could oh, be clothing, yeah. beauty, Gadget. Just say cucumber. Just say cucumber. Yeah. Obviously, cucumber. <laughs> cucumber. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Number two. Obviously. Number two. Uh, I can't live without my Sarah Chapman. I can't remember what it's called. Skin insurance. Skin insurance, which oh, is a tinted right. moisturiser. Okay. And I think it is so the only thing that I'm wearing now because I'm completely remedial in, oh, in terms of putting... You but it's very like good. you're yeah. completely natural. And I have no idea. Oh, yeah, thanks. So it's, I absolutely love it. Uh, and I love Sarah Chapman. So that okay. I would say that was my core kind of beauty product, definitely. Um, and... Uh, uh, well, I've got a beauty column in the Evening Standard, okay. so I try a lot oh. of stuff. Um, and at the I moment, read you all the time because I always read the Standard. I love the Standard. Yeah, oh, it's excellent, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, at the, the moment, um, Glossier have got oh, a very, yes. very good new product out, and yeah. their stuff generally, their makeup doesn't really show that much. It's very subtle. Um, this is called Future Dew, and it's a bit like the last step in your skincare and the first step in your makeup. Uh, and you put it on. It's like and a primer. I, I don't use primers, okay. but I guess so. Instead yeah. of, it doesn't yeah. call itself a primer. Okay. But what happens is it just gives you a fantastically good skin day. Really, mm. really glowy. It makes some, that Yeah, I, I do. Because also, I tell you what, it's, oh, 20, it's 22 quid. Right. Okay. I love their products. It's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Are they still, they had products. a puff up in Covent Garden. Yeah, they, not, no, it's still there. Oh, is it still, still there? there? Yeah. Right. Oh. Um, and then at the moment, I'm obsessed with suits. Are you? Well, yeah. You were wearing a very fine suit. I mean, it's not as obsessed with Meghan Markle suits. Markle suits. Well, yeah, I used to be obsessed with Meghan Markle suits, but not so much anymore. <laughs> so, I, yes, I, I sort of, I feel like I'm going to power through yeah, no, this you year. Very, yeah, you know, sharp. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, no, no messing. But, uh, but also with trainers. So that is the sort yeah, of speed yeah, yeah, and dress and dress down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You're encapsulating yeah, your brand. That is how, that is, that is, that is that's the mood, I, that's what I'm trying yeah. to present. No, it's good. Oh, it's working. It's working. Um, I got my ears pierced to celebrate the book coming out. <laughs> You'd so I'd never had them done never before. Oh my gosh. And wow. um, I and wanted to, to, to do something. Wow. And uh, so now I'm just Why all about... Why did you wait so long? Well, I wanted to get it done when I was 12. My mother said I couldn't. Oh, yeah, I and like, then by the time I was done. 16, I was <laughs> stealing all her earrings and she Which didn't have pierced ears. Yeah. So then um, I was stuck there. I got scared. Yeah, yeah. And um, fabulous. Uh, Doesn't she look yes. like she was born you to have hoops? Yes. You look like you were yes. born with hoops. So now I'm obsessed with hoops. Big ones, yeah, small ones. I, love I mean, yes. as big as possible, I really. I love hoops. So it's about, it's about that for me. And jumpsuits. And yeah. jumpsuits. Yeah. It's I a great jumpsuits. combo. Yeah. Hoops and jumpsuits. Check great out the cucumber jumpsuit. Makes me feel like a pirate. Ooh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. A pirate. Yeah. They're, they're, they're very pirate. empowering yeah. wearing big hoops. Yeah, I think so. I normally wear, I was going to wear hoops today and then I decided on my What is it about hoops that makes us feel There's just something a bit... Sassy, right? Yeah, a bit rock and roll. It's a bit Rihanna. It's a bit kind of like you're out there mm. they have to be gold. I feel they have to be gold yep. possibly gold with diamonds I think that's nice <laughs> this summer too. I'm going to be trying to channel uh, Alessandra what's her name the American politician who oh, oh. Ocasio Cortez yes, yes. <laughs> because she does the scrape back hair the lip yeah. and the, yeah, 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 and the yeah, big yeah. hoop mm. exactly. so a J-Lo slash her yeah yeah I think that's working J-Lo and that dress 
green. Yeah, yeah. Just, I think everybody just like that Super Bowl didn't, half time. Yes, yeah. just at the gym. Didn't every woman and slash man, every every sort of grown up person, just go thank you J Lo for our, for sort of after the Super Bowl for making us feel I don't know that it was all entirely possible. Yeah, I, there's I been think a lot there's about, been a bit, this a bit of what you can be at 50, but then there's also, yes, but she has a personal trainer, she has a this, she has a nutritionist, a little, 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 is that real life? You no, know, I've read I all things. I think it's okay because I think we all recognise that people, I mean, celebrities. Her bodies have brand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Her bodies have brand and she works hard. I think it's just the idea that she's ambitious for herself. Yeah, absolutely. And, for her. and yeah. she's, you know, she's doing it. And, and she can still full photos. Exactly. Exactly. And I think we're so trained to, we're so trained to assume that the, that everything is happening, you know, downwards. That we should exactly. look downwards yeah. for all the exciting, yes. culturally moving, yes. you know, forward That's thinking stuff. Yeah. So yeah. there was a perfect moment Positive. of like, no, exactly. absolutely not. It's there. And actually it was very interesting. Um, there was a tweet that Annabelle and I put, put up on the middle, but there was a tweet saying, uh, by a, a millennial journalist saying, I am sick of the stories of the 30 under 30s. Right. I yeah. want to hear so about like the 47. Yeah. The 50 yes. over 50s. Maybe. Exactly. Yes. The well, funnily 40s. enough, yeah. I, I, I doubt it was in response, but Time magazine or Forbes or one of those big American right. Forbes, magazines it was. Yeah, did, it did a cover line that said 40 yeah. over 40. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. 40 yeah. most important over 40. Yes. And, and I had to read it twice because yeah. I'm not used to seeing that. Exactly. Yes. But I think it's an interesting I think it's an interesting shift in the idea that I mean I think two things are happening. One, I think that women have been ready, women 40 plus, 50 plus have been ready for this exact moment when yeah, sorry about when yeah. someone turned around and went oh are there any stories about women that are relevant and all these yeah. women are going and so yes many. here we are and we're all reinventing yeah. ourselves yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. and i think and we we and you know there's a and i feel that there is a real kind of storm chiara behind us absolutely yeah. well there is because look at <laughs> <laughs> the things blowing through no i think that's i think that's really true and i think actually can i just say, say as two sets of co-founders that statistically startups with um, founders who are over 40 do a mm. lot better and just, just saying women. Yeah. just saying then start startups that are started yeah. by people very young for yeah. obvious reasons yeah. we've got more time we have more resources we have more yeah. experience we have more connections that's been really important to us as a business um, I mean, that's a bit more realistic. Yeah. To a friend, I wouldn't yeah. have had that connection with you um, if it had been in our twenties. I agree, exactly. yeah, absolutely. So there's so many positives, and it's just reaching for that because yeah. also there there are all these other backlashes. Because um, I've just been away and coming back, I've been reading all these articles about this whole trad wife. Yeah, yes. oh, which yes. is like does my I head in reading about it, I thinking know. It's quite what? I know. I know, I know. Well, I think, fine, if that's what you want to do, yeah, but yeah, don't, yeah. don't make everybody feel... No, but it's so not, it's kind of not fine, actually. Yeah, I don't think it's fine. It's kind of not, it's so... Well, it's, there are many ways I to just, live a life. Yeah. What I mean is, I don't want to say... thanking you. No, 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 don't, I don't I mean, agree with that, but I'm saying if you want to be your traditional housewife, then that is... Yeah, that absolutely. Is a, I mean, I was a housewife. Yeah, yeah but, but, up, but that's also such a demeaning I slightly long to be a housewife, just not a surrendered one. Exactly. I don't think that's anything going to happen don't want the giant red bonnet as No, absolutely. And this kind of view that when you're out just a look and they'll know when it's they get home it'll be, the hand. it'll be you know time yeah. to yeah that was very off. sensitive there was a quote I think it was in the Sunday Times this yes, weekend yeah. where they said and the wife will know even though yes. she feels safe when exactly. she's out mm. she is still under his jurisdiction mm. just a look and it makes your blood run cold absolutely know, it really does yeah. yeah, what with the attacks on reproductive rights in America? And it's yeah. almost as though they're saying, ladies, you've had your fun. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Or basically, well, and ladies don't have too much fun. Yeah. No, it's absolutely. Bad. And I think, and I feel exactly that they sort of may, I'm hoping that the storm that we're, that is projecting us is going to fight through that. Yeah. Because otherwise it is all just little token bits of absolutely. kind of, yeah, you exactly. know, biscuits or crumbs or whatever. Speaking of which, one of my, because um, I've been listening to your podcast, obviously, um, I really enjoyed, I mean, I enjoyed a lot of them, but I really enjoyed the one with Slay in Your Lane. Oh. I thought that was a great They're podcast. They're great girls. Really, really interesting. Mm. I haven't actually managed to read the book. Mm. It is in my pile. It is a brilliant read. book. It is sort of, rigorously academic and obviously with a lot of It's irrefutable of facts really. Yeah. Do you want yeah. to tell us a little bit about just to sure. so for people? It was written it. by um, two university graduates from Warwick so they're in their mid to late mid twenties. Um, it's Yomi Adegoke and Elizabeth Ubi Viennene and I never pronounced that right and I'm really <laughs> sorry. Um, and it is basically best. it is subtitled The Black Girl's Bible and it is basically a kind of call to arms um, for black girls to kind of, you know, take their place where they, where, where, you know, where they belong and to give them the confidence and the tools um, and the statistics that back up, you know, um, how empowered they are, but also how disenfranchised they've been. Mm. So yeah. that's basically yeah. what it is. It's yeah. a brilliant yeah. book and it's incredibly 
it can be incredibly hard to read because, and I said this on the podcast, you know, we make such assumptions Absolutely. about what we think about, you know, without, you know, we, we, one thing about being feminist, but the other thing about, you know, equal opportunities for, 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 for women of color as well. Yeah. And, the, and, you know, just to, for example, the example of nude tights. Now I understand yes. in my head what nude means, but of course that isn't relevant to, yes. to, yeah. to yeah. a huge swathe of the population. Or when yes, someone says flesh colored. Yes, yes. exactly. Who's flesh? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And I think that these are the tiny kind a of... Bit, a little bit like, like... A little bit like... Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a little bit like... Um, uh, and when airbags were first invented, they would kill women and children yes. because they were designed for men. Absolutely. The tensile that's pressure on office that, doors, that, women uh, couldn't uh, open them because uh, they didn't have the upper women. body Absolutely strength. Invisible women. I mean, yeah. it really made me think, yeah, I mean, you know, when I take a paracetamol, it's made for the average white male yeah, size absolutely. person. Mm-hmm. I am not Makes an average. Makes me feel great. Yeah. <laughs> but also, all those things, they're all things. Drug, I mean, the drug testing yeah. thing is yeah. really interesting because there are a lot of, um, they were testing something for heart, for, for heart, for male, for heart failure on men and did nothing. But on women, it had a profound effect on something. But they were like, but oh. they never use women in tests because women have hormones that make them. Unreliable. Yeah. 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 So exactly. Not just used. that. I think it was also after the, the whole terrible um, issue of the the thalidomide. thalidomide in yes. the 1960s. Yes. They were rightly yes. terrified yes. of using uh, women too. of childbearing age in yeah. case there was an effect on their children so you know it's not as as always with everything it's not it's not entirely straightforward but that yeah no that was a yes but what about house. office temperature which yeah, is no, that that's three degrees right. too low for women so that the men feel happy in their suits and I, I mean i can't i can think of countless offices where we've been in where all the men are just you know in their sort of you know, shirt sleeves, and all the women are wearing jumpers. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. like yeah. that. Yes, yeah. but then taking you off the jumper to go into a meeting because they don't want to look too casual or yeah. unprofessional. Yeah, yeah, and being cold. Yeah. Um, gosh, well, the, I, li- I could uh, yeah, <laughs> honestly go say, on. I could say how I'm wanting, but I think we need to put, put this to know because I know you've got a very busy day ahead. Um, so just tell us, middle, five-year net plan for the middle. Where are you going to be in Ooh. five years? What's Ooh. going to be happening with you both? I don't have a plan. You don't have a plan? I'm not one of those people. Do you have a plan? No, well, I have secret plans that I that I oh. that uh, that that I think the I the, basically I feel like with the mid out what we want is to 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 just continue the path. Yeah. So um so it's about yeah. reaching more people. Exactly. We have yeah. a couple of irons and a couple of secret yes. fires. Okay. So I'm hoping if you watch this space, there's some interesting things. Yeah. Are about happen. Happen. Yeah. All well, I can say is please watch, watch this space yeah. because no. we think it's a fantastic space. We're oh. so pleased yeah, to be able you. to spend so. some time with Annabelle and Emily and. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you visit their site and read their book and listen to their podcast because they are brilliant. Thank you for being so generous. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.